What would you do if it all went wrong? If it was your product that failed and the critical quality control mechanism plunged because of human error? But the burning question remains, what do you do now? You've got no reliable real-time data. All you've got is consignments of out-of-date stock. There is one thing you must do. Recall. Now sit back and watch as your share price plummets. This is the future. RFID Radio Wave Frequency Identification The system we are about to show you is the united vision of three of the most talented and regarded non-profit institutes in the country. It is the collaboration between the Western Vascular Institute, Georgia Tech Island and GS1 Island that has brought this vision to life. We present to you Class Catheter Laboratory Automated Stockroom System let me explain where the motivation for classes come from. Every day medical device stock is wasted. Every day is another expiry date. Recalls are costly, catastrophic to brand and share price. There is no live data available for research and control purposes. There is no space for human error. And managing deployed stock in the field is difficult for medical companies. So what is RFID? An RFID tag contains a unique serial number. When the tag moves within range of the receiver, the serial number is read and relayed to a central server. Class gives precise information to all parties involved. A medical device leaves the manufacturer and gets RFID'd as it moves through to goods outwards. It is scanned when loaded onto a truck, entering the distribution network. It finally arrives at a hospital and is scanned again as it moves into the stockroom. During its life, it is assigned to a patient. The device is scanned as it leaves the stockroom heading for surgery. It will be scanned automatically upon entry. The RFID used by class does not interfere with medical instruments and devices. Instead, it is a cost-neutral technology. Using the collected information, it will verify against its own records to ensure the patient's safety is not compromised. Now that you've seen how class works, what does it mean for medical stock management? London has stock, New York has not. Class can find products due to expire and automatically move them with no wastage. If you need to recall, then you need to do it fast. Class can find the recall stock quickly to avoid PR and share price disaster. A global class network will allow a customer to source a particular product line and have it shipped to them on the fly. Allowing IT systems to validate and verify that the correct device is being used will increase patient safety. Having access to real-time data and statistics will fuel better and more relevant research, including real-time clinical trial comparisons. Class is cost-neutral. It does not require any additional time or resources to operate. Instead, tracking is performed autonomously. Individual device tagging would eliminate counterfeit replicas from the market, improving patient safety and protecting genuine stock. Class supports upstream traceability. This will allow companies to trace their products from the patient back to their exact point of manufacture. So, to recap, no wastage of expired stock, fast recall, efficient distribution, enhanced patient safety, accurate data, Cost neutral to operate, counterfeit prevention, upstream traceability. As you can see, class is a truly powerful system. It will be fundamental to the creation of smart hospitals in the future. What does a smart hospital look like? All rooms in the hospital will be fitted with one or more RFID sensors. Every medical device, patient, medical person and piece of equipment will be tagged with a unique RFID tag. 
The system will then be able to actively monitor the position and status of every item within the hospital. Barack Obama has pledged to provide federal funds to US states that implement a certified electronic health record system. To meet recent health care pledges, PLAS can provide savings of up to a third while preventing 100,000 deaths per annum. A global federation will be formed for medical companies and not-for-profit partners. The federation will then develop, standardize and deploy the technology. It will reduce development investment for companies. And they do not need to fear entering the market too early or creating a standard that fails. Access to data will be heavily controlled by the independent federation. And it will ensure business continuity of data in the event of a company folding or being acquired. GS1 Ireland is a member organization of GS1 and is the first of the non-profit partners. It designs and develops open standards to ensure global interoperability. These standards improve global supply and demand chain performance. With over 30 years of experience, they are committed to improving patient safety. Georgia Tech Ireland is a dedicated not-for-profit translational research institute. Its mission is to bridge the gap between discovery and successful commercialization of new technologies. It has independent research and development infrastructure with over 75 years of experience. It has expertise for RF testing in healthcare sectors. The WVI is a not-for-profit clinical and research institute. They are pioneers of vascular technologies and spearhead award-winning international research. They boast state-of-the-art facilities for the clinical pilot of class and they are highly respected by their peers. Uh, the vascular center here in Galway has done remarkable work, not only in terms of basic sciences, but also in terms of awareness and cutting-edge technology. It's a very fast-moving program, uh, lots of interactivity, uh, and a very comprehensive program. So it's really been a pleasure to participate in it. People who attended the meeting really had a current update of what's new, what's exciting, and the way the future is going to be. So let each of us stand up and embrace a technology that will change the way we manage medical devices. Let us pave the road for smart hospitals. Let us come together as a global federation united in our vision for class.